Are men really finished? Apparently so. Are we witnessing the end of men, as some are predicting? In one of a series of forums held at the Skirball Center near Washington Square Park in New York City this year, Intelligence Squared sponsored a controversial debate titled Men Are Finished. A panel of four advocates were selected for the discussion, one man and one woman in favor of the debate statements, and one of each opposed to it. The end is near, according to Hannah Rosen, author of the XX Factor blog. It's not that women are smarter, because they're not smarter. These days, men and women test about the same on standardized tests for both math and English. But women have something. Some sociologists call it grit. Some call it engagement. Some call it focus. Some call it social intelligence. It's some special formula that's required for success these days, which women just seem to have in greater abundance than men. Joining Rosen in this advocacy against men was Dan Abrams of ABC News, who wrote the book Man Down, which spells out how women are better at just about everything. Can I definitively prove that women are really better spies or competitive eaters or even they tolerate pain better than men for certain or even my beloved chapter on women handling breakups better than men? <laughs> and also help explain why women lag in certain areas. Let's start with politics. Women vote more, period, both in number of votes and the percentage of the population. Men will be, if not finished, certainly marginalized. For the defense of men, the panel consisted of Christina Hoffman Summers, author of War Against Boys, and David Sinsenko, editor-in-chief of Men's Health magazine. The idea that men are finished is crazy. Men and women complement each other. We are not separate teams competing for a trophy. I saw one story that said women have better orgasms than men. <laughs> Anything, they continue to do what they have always done. Sweet. In bed. <laughs> <laughs> Lead nations, build bridges, drive corporations, yes, win elections, and to your point, quite sadly, tweet, uh, tweet pics of their genitalia to complete strangers. <laughs> Both sides made passionate pleas for their respective positions, but the better-skilled senators were clearly on the side advocating that we are witnessing the end of men. All of the statistics that my opponents will be citing tonight are indicative of a trend. Women are beginning to catch up to men. The pro-men arguers simply didn't have much of a leg to stand on in this debate. Now, women and men do not succeed at one another's expense. We're on the same team. We're codependent. That was true on the African savanna 100,000 years ago. It has been true ever since. It's true in 21st century America. Both Hannah and I have talked to you in depth and at length about how significantly women have not caught up, but surpassed men in, in very significant areas. They keep talking about how men are still running the countries, men are still doing this, men are still doing that, but that's not interesting. That just shows a lack of imagination. As we said, this men are finished proposition, you literally have to think of it as graffiti, as the writing on the wall pointing to an inevitable future. All the signs are there. The moderator, John Donovan, correspondent for ABC News Nightline, made what was probably the best point against continued male dominance in the debate. And, and they're kind of creating a world where they're saying it's, it's more important now to be a blogger than to be a blogger. Yeah. That, 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 there's, that it's a Facebook world and the Facebook world works better for women in, in many different ways, to the social skills, etc. Uh, so I, I just want you to take on that notion that, that structurally we're changing so that the relevance of female characteristics to the economy, the economic value, has become enhanced. The crowd enjoyed the lively debate, which stirred up so much strong controversy that very few were willing to put their opinion on record. Afterward, however, one man was willing to say something. David Plotz, editor of Slate magazine, had this to say about the debate itself. It's circled around the question of what does finished mean? Do, does finished mean that men are completely done, or does finished just mean uh, that men are losing their positions of, of dominance? And I think Hannah and the her, her co-debater, Dan, made a very convincing case that, e that set aside the sort of hyperbolic position that men are completely done, we don't need them anymore, have women surpassed, are they on the verge of surpassing, is it in a situation where women are surpassing uh, men, we are in that situation. 
In a flash poll taken at the beginning of the debate, 20% of the crowd was in favor of the statement that men are finished, 54% were against it, and 26% had no opinion. But by the end of the debate, the audience was polled, and there was a dramatic shift. 66% were for the statement, only 29% were opposed to it, and 5% had no opinion. So apparently that means the end of men is near. Well, the silver lining might be that at least it's not the end of the world.